Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Libra. Hello Libras, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as a cross watcher of the Libra. And these are your November readings. It's like a feeling of anxiousness, like, um, and granted, you know, yesterday was the eclipse, but there's this feeling of like heart beating quick, knees weak, palms sweaty. Mom spaghetti. I don't know. This is it's just strange. Like you can just feel it. It feels like someone gets real quiet and they get real nervous and there's a feeling of anxiousness. Wow, what the hell is this? Ace of Swords, Aquarius, the Star, and the Eight of Cups. Something that seemed impossible is not only possible, but it actually happens. It's that feeling of, holy fuck. And that's the energy, isn't it? Because everything recently has been about really old wishes coming true. Something that was wished for, and, and not even like a conscious, well, maybe consciously, but it, it does feel like it wasn't something that someone thought was actually going to happen. It's kind of like when someone says, kind of jokingly too, oh yeah, someday I'm going to win the lottery. Someday I'm going to get seven out of seven numbers. Ha ha, watch. And someone wins the lottery. I mean, this could be very jokingly saying like, ha ha, that's my husband. I'm going to marry him someday. And you fucking meet and fall in love. And it's like you're on the path to marriage or something. It's just like. Something. It's like a blockage is removed too. I mean, with the clarity, it, it's, it's, I mean, of course, Ace of Swords is communication. It could be all these different things. So it's a, it's a fucking victory, right? But it feels like clarity. It feels like cutting through this like jungle is what I'm seeing in my head, like using it as like a machete and kind of clearing the way and then it's cleared and then bing, just like that something manifests. So it's something and it's divine too. So it's like, like the universe did this on your behalf, not you doing it yourself. Although you did wish for something. It's just very, uh, and there goes my heart beating fast again. It's very nerve wracking. Eight of Pentacles. So the magician, I told you, it's something that was manifested. Justice, that's you, Libra. It's it's getting something that you want. It's what you deserve. It's like all this hard work's paying off, right? It's like, and for some of you, this could be abundance in like financial, right? So it's career. Like some of you finally get um, career. Some kind of thing with career, like, um, hold on. I mean, that looks like an autograph too. Like someone signing something or they're writing something. Are you signing on the dotted line? Are you signing a contract for the job you finally got? Are you... I 
and that is the justice energy too, right? Legal. You're signing your names or, or someone's autograph. <coughs> I feel so distracted by the energy. And it's just making me nervous. Look what's on the bottom of the deck, the Knight of Cups. So it's like this infatuation. It's it's like um, um somebody who's, it's, it's like a crush, secret admirer, right? But I mean, don't get me wrong. Could it be something love related where Where you get the person that you joke that you say, you say I'm, that's my husband, I'm going to marry them. <laughs> and the saying is what? Be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. That's what your energy screams. That's the energy that's been in the collective readings nonstop. Be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. King of Cups, Knight of Swords came out in reverse. Upright, it's some sort of fast, quick movement, right? Could be a message that comes in really quickly. Uh, in reverse, I, I almost just get the feeling of like, there was no message or indication of this happening. <clears throat> Do you know what I mean? Like it was something that just... There was no warning. As, as soon as a card came out, I heard no warning. No warning, no indication. I mean, the King of Cups also is this energy of... Watching. And, I mean, he looks like he's very interested, almost salivating. <laughs> so it's the same energy... But it tells us that this person is of a higher vibration. They're king. They're a bit more stable. They're, they're, they're emotionally mature. They are the kind of person that is... Um, I almost get the impression they don't feel things normally. And because they feel something here, and that could be what... It, no warning. Oh my God, they just met a person and was like, Oh my God, I fucking love them. They're amazing. There's no warning here. And, and, and there's nervousness, like knees, knees weak, palms sweaty. You vomit on a sweater already, mom spaghetti. And it's very, this is the moment. Like the moments come and it's like, it's like getting ready to go out on stage. And this is like your biggest concert of your life, right? This is the biggest game of your life. This is a Super Bowl. So fuck the World Series for, you know, baseball fans. The hermit. Someone here is super enlightened. They remind me of a person who's very seasoned and wise. That's the that's the energy that comes through for them. They're very seasoned. Reminiscing. I wish some nights lasted longer. There's like a yearning. A yearning, it's like a yearning, almost like you don't know why you're yearning, but, but in actuality, it's yearning for this connection from a past life, feeling like I'm single, but I'm not single, and I'm just waiting for them to come home. And, and and many of us have felt this way since birth. And and throughout our life, we've met people and thought maybe it's them, and we realize it's not them, and we just haven't found the person yet that feels like home. Geez, that's fucking deep. Someone's coming home. Home.
connection. I mean, that's communication with the bridge, right? Bridge symbolizes that. It's, it's communication. Bridge symbolizes... It's almost like the bridge comes in and connects this gap because the gap is between the 5D and the 3D. So it's almost like the relation, the connection can, it's, that's why it's manifested in real life because something has been bridged. Like, like, like a portal has been open. Uh, it's a timeline jump or some shit, right? And remember I said it was a universe earlier. It's what it felt like. It's like something get like, like for example you guys have never met in this life but you're together fucking in, in 5d or in seven different alternate universes and in this life you finally meet physically not just in your fucking imagination and head and oh in another universe in this life you meet and you feel so connected to this person already that it almost is like you. It, once they come in, you're just like, there you are. I've just been waiting for you. It's not even like a period of getting to know them again. You already know them. You're just waiting for them to come back. Hey, stranger. A love offer. Yeah. A love offer presents itself without even trying past life i just said that it's like i'm fucking psychic or something <laughs> i just fucking said that it's like uh, that's what the reminiscing feels like it was reminiscing something from the past like in another land far far away in a galaxy far far away very past lifey stranger you recognize it's it, it, the two of you there's not even like this period of time of like only oh, two strangers getting to know each other it's you ever hear people that will tell you like they've been married 50 years and they still get butterflies when they're with their partner or like the husband's so still in love with the wife that he just is like oh my god she still makes me nervous and gives me butterflies it feels like this except this is a thousand years later not just, we've been married for 65 years. This is like fucking thousand years, bitch. Even after a thousand years, you still make my heart go boom, boom. You still make my knees weak and, and palms sweaty. It hits, it's, it, this is what it is. Still after, still? It's a very Professor Snape and Harry Potter. Still? always you know what i'm saying like i told you when scorpio season comes and the closer we get to Samhain, i mean i'm already a really fucking intuitive bitch this kind of an energy right now with the eclipse but especially being in a really deep intense um, psychic almost a sign like scorpio people like me honey we are just tapped in the motherfucker so if this resonates for you this is like a personal reading romance intoxicated past life here with the past life intoxicated in someone's old life you can be it could be this life could be a past life they they had issues with alcohol it was their crutch their addiction i you can just feel it in a past life they were in love with the feeling of numbing themselves out romance they just were in a past life someone had issues with drinking Someone had issues with alternate forms of things to numb themselves out. Someone here was in tremendous pain emotionally and spiritually. They were super, it was, this is like a, someone was lost. Remember we said earlier they're seasoned and experienced. That means they've cleaned up their fucking act. 
This could be someone sober. This could be a person here who gives the feeling of being drunk in love, right? Let's say we're fast forwarding to present day, what they feel like, and they make you feel drunk in love. I feel like I'm high when I'm with them. It's a natural high. It's, it's a high off of romantic feelings. Make a date. I'm hearing that old song in my head. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Dun, 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 dun. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Something about when I think about you, it's all day, every fucking day. Something about August, it really screams it too because it says it on the card, right? But, but, it, but something about August. Something happens in August, it happened in August. There's a connection to the number eight. Could be that too. Mm, this could also just be the future that someone's, there's a date set. It's almost like it's been pre-written. This date, is this date a wedding date? Oh, it's already pre-written that you two are gonna be getting married November, or you're gonna meet November. You're gonna, it's already, it's like it's already written in stone, whatever this date is. And it does not have to be August, but I did see that. I just was drawn to it on the card. But it could be at any fucking second, any moment, any time, any week, any year. It's already been pre-written. This is set in stone. Once the bridging happens to connect this, it's over. Which means it's just beginning. The end is just the beginning. All right, let's get into your extended. Below this video, click the word more. It's going to take you to um, all the information. Click that first link. It'll take you to my website, saltwaterhealstarot.com. Go into the extended reading section and look for November readings. Thank you all for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. I'll see you there. Love you. Bye.